Hey beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I love showcasing any brands here on my channel. Today though, we are diving into my current favorites. I'm gonna pin my hair up when we get started, but I did do my hair today. I somewhat tried to do my hair today. <laughs> um, and me noticing the shine really made me wanna talk to you guys about the INH or insert name here, the Flame Fighter heat primer. It is a hydrating heat protectant. I get the opportunity and this is not too expensive. I'm going to get the full size of this. Um, the shine you guys, when I curled my hair and stuff like that, which obviously I've used it till it's empty. This is, there's nothing in here. Um, but the shine is so incredible. And a lot of times with these heat protectants, they leave a weird film on my hair. This does not do that. And it smells divine. Another hair product I've been loving is the K18 Air Wash Dry Shampoo, but it is in a spray. And I've also used a ton of this. It's, it is pricey, y'all. It is too damn expensive for what it is, okay? But it works, and I hate that I love it so much, and I hate that it works so good. Um, if you have different suggestions, I've heard L'Occitane has one that is a spray versus, like, you know, an aerosol thing. Um, but the bottoms of my hair and the ends of my hair tend to not get as oily or build up in the way that obviously my root area does. So I will just part it, spray a little bit, I let it sit for about five minutes and then I brush it through. It is fantastic. It also smells really nice. Um, I love this product. It is very, very pricey, but I did also want to mention that. I'm going to pin my hair back. And if this gets long, I'm sorry, but I like to be thorough, y'all. I like to give good reviews and stuff like that. And I like to be as thorough as I can possibly be in my videos. So if this gets too long, y'all know what I say. Grab your tacos and your tequila, your milk and cookies, your Doritos, Cheetos, Fritos, whatever is your pleasure, and sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing and give the video a thumbs up. Some key things too, I have a giveaway going on right now, 5K giveaway. And as soon as I reach that 5K threshold, I will be announcing a winner. So please go check out that video. I'll also have it linked for you guys. Next up, already on my skin, I have on my Science Serum products. I have the Tight Eye and the Moisture Eyes. I did do a sponsored video with them. They do not know I'm making this, but I do have that on and I've really been loving it, especially on the right eye. That is where I've been using it at for close to a month. My left eye has not caught up yet. I like to do skincare on one side of the face first just to kind of see if I notice a difference and y'all it's a banger I love those products and then I am finishing up my Nomad Air V face cream I have a tiny tiny bit left if this would focus and I also really love this I personally would not purchase this this was gifted to me I would not purchase it solely for me and my skincare needs but if you like something that is very light very lightweight, a thinner formulation for a moisturizer, and you maybe don't have very, very dry Sahara desert dry skin, you'll love it. Um, and it's great. I do have a little bit of moisturization going on, but I, for me personally, I like something that is very thick, very dense, and very rich. Um, for the summertime, though, I really have been enjoying this. I just don't know that I would purchase it. I've also at nighttime solely been using the Cat Berkey Vitamin C Intensive Face Cream. Now this right here, very luxe, very bougie. I got it in a subscription box. <laughs> um, this is what I love in a cream. Um, and especially more so for nighttime and or if you are like me and you have very, very dry skin. Y'all, it is this beautiful, very rich very intense almost kind of whipped texture i love it so much no scent or anything like that and none of these products i don't have any reactiveness or anything like that to them no sensitivity to any of them so loving these now we'll dive into all of the makeup products first up i'm going to go into a pretty new one for me but i've been using it since i received it this is the keys let me glow illuminating serum I did receive this in PR, no obligation to post. I do not have a code or anything like that. I tried this a few times as a serum. It, it does nothing as far as feeling like I'm quenched and hydrated and stuff like that for like a standalone skincare product. However, as far as using it for a daily primer under my makeup, I've been loving it. It is a very light pale shade with a little bit of kind of pearlescence or opalescence to it and it's incredibly thin you can see it like literally goes into almost nothingness it's very thin 
it is scented and I do not like the scent of this <laughs> but the way that it makes my skin look and the way that my foundation lays on top of this it makes it worth me continuing to try it um, really enjoying this I like the level of glow and it goes kind of right into the skin it doesn't sit on top of the skin and it just looks really pretty and my makeup lays on top of it so beautifully you guys um, next, I'm going to dive into brows. They are literally nothing new. They're like holy grail products for me. And I still have all my stuff in here from where we went to the beach and we had company here for two weeks because I got ready in my own bathroom. So <laughs> whatever's in here basically is what I'm going to be showcasing for you guys. And everything's going to be linked down below. If you do choose to shop using my links, I really do appreciate it. But my brows have been very, very easy. I literally go in with my NYX. Stick it, stick it. This is a multi repurchase for me and then the Milani Weekend Brow. This is medium brown, also a multi repurchase for me. What I've been doing though is going in with the Thick It Stick It. I'm going to wipe some off because it does have like little fibers and stuff on it. So because my brows are so sparse, I literally haphazardly like this is going to get all over me. It's going to you know get on me it's gonna stain my face real quick for a second but the way that I've been doing this it really 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 works and it's incredibly impactful so I'm running through the brow all different angles literally again haphazardly doing this now you could do it like I normally do and I know if I've already gotten my makeup on I'm just very easy and gentle with it but there's just something about doing it like this it really fills in the brows for me it lifts them up. The tone and undertone of this is great. And then I'm literally just going to go into a makeup wipe, which I don't have any on my desk. <laughs> Hold, please. Then I'm going to take a wipe. I'm going to go above and below the brow. I should have done one to just kind of show you guys. But hopefully you can see the difference. <laughs> It just gives me a little bit of like hairs where I don't really have any hairs at. It sticks everything up, but it's not hard and crunchy. I do not personally like that. Um, and it's literally bulletproof. Like this does not budge. It's not going anywhere, you guys. I'm going to go in with the Weekend Brow from Milani. And it can be any brow pen. You can go in with a pomade. You can go in with a fine brush. Whatever you have. Whatever you have is fine. And I'm literally using flicking motions in an upward fashion and I'm literally just adding these little strokes in the areas that are sparse that is quite literally it that is how I've been doing my brows honestly I do my brows pretty much like this all the time the only difference will be if I'm really trying to make sure that it's super carved out I'll do a line on the bottom with a like pencil and both of these are incredibly affordable, you know, drugstore pricing. I'm going to further pin my hair back so we can go in with foundation. And this combination of foundation is what I wore to the beach. It is what I wore for our family reunion on July 4th when it was a hundred and hot degrees here, y'all. Um, this duo, match made in foundation heaven. This is the Urban Decay Face Bond 17 Medium Warm. This is the Maybelline, it would help if it wasn't backwards, Maybelline 24 Hour Skin Tint in the shade 220. This is slightly too light. This is slightly too peanut butter. <laughs> um, so what I've been doing with these is literally taking my foundation brush, and this is almost empty as well. I, I love this foundation. If you are looking for a foundation that has a beautiful skin-like Oh no, a beautiful skin like quality to it, lasts a long time, affordable pricing, and then a dot of this, y'all. And then I'm just going to kind of mix it around on my brush. But if you're looking for something that I feel like if you have oily skin, this is going to work. If you have dry skin, this is going to work. If you have mature skin, this is going to work. There's this beautiful kind of pearl essence to this, but it's not noticeable upon application. So I'm gonna go in, I'm doing swiping motions here just because these do offer a little bit more coverage. Normally I would go in with a pouncing motion and kind of buff it in first, but I do also have to work kind of quickly because that face bond, y'all, it dries quick. Um, but it has beautiful coverage. The tone and undertone of these together on me is perfection and they are bulletproof together. They look so incredibly beautiful. 
I, I cannot say enough, especially about the duo together, but the Maybelline Superstay is one of my all-time favorite foundations. Like, if y'all want to see, like, a top five foundations or top ten or something like that, um, I am a 45. I do have dry, textured, mature skin. Um, yeah, I have very sensitive skin, so if you guys are into that and that sounds like you and you want to see a video, let me know. Um, and you can see, like, a little bit, tiny little bit of, like, some imperfections kind of peeking through. But my overall, you know, the overall appearance of my skin looks much better. The redness is dissipated. I'm going to go in with a tiny, tiny bit more. I wore it for the 4th of July and it did not budge. It did not go anywhere. And I know people like to come for me because my foundation is always too dark, but it matches my body. <laughs> I'm trying to obviously match my face to my body. And my face, I wear SPF of 50 and I typically double up on my SPF products. So my face is always going to be way, way lighter than the rest of my body. So I, I promise it, it looks great, y'all. I promise in person it looks great. <laughs> Next up, digging back into my little goodie bag over here. I'm not going to use this today just because I'm not actually going anywhere. But I've been using the heck out of the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet. Um, this is the 24-hour undetectable blurring powder foundation. Woo, that's a lot to say. And it is in 2Y20. And this, even on its own, I love to use, but setting it on top of anything else, especially if I'm going outdoors, y'all, it works beautifully. I love the shade of this. It feels so incredibly soft, smooth, lightweight. It does blur the skin. So if you're looking for a powder and or a powder foundation, highly, highly recommend. I love this. Next up, should be no surprise to y'all at all. I love this. I feel like this is one of my all-time favorite blushes. It's the NYX Buttermilk Blush. This is in the shade Filling Butter. Um, I like the component of this, and this shade is so incredibly beautiful. Like, if you have medium tan skin, this is going to look spectacular on you. It is very, very pigmented. I also will know if you do not like a more glowy finish, this is not for you. I like to keep this a little bit higher up. Almost using it a little bit more like a bronzer type of, almost using it more of like a bronzer. But it's super punchy. The shade of this is so incredibly beautiful and it has just a beautiful sheen to it. Not oiliness, not glitter or shimmer or anything like that. And it just looks just beautiful. It looks blurred and soft focused on the skin and again drugstore pricing i cannot say enough about this blush i would like to try the buttermilk bronzers as well like as much as i like this i'm almost positive that i would love the bronzers for these i'm staying in this exact same brush I'm going right back in my bag to the melt cosmetics santa barbara ultra matte powder bronzer um, this is not matte, I don't know why they call it that, but it has an actual luminescence to it, a little bit of a sheen to it. This, I definitely have to take a less is more approach, like, that's enough, that's plenty. Again, I'm starting up towards my hairline, and this is very, very pretty. This blends out incredibly well, but you can use too much. Um, again, if you're maybe a shade up from me, I think that this would be absolutely perfect for you. Um, but I love it. I love the finish of it. It is bulletproof. It lasts forever on my skin. And again, it gives a little bit of a flush to the skin without being overtly heavy, shiny, greasy looking or anything like that, especially for the summertime. And especially, you know, if you don't have dry skin like me, I feel like that's super important. Um, but all of these products together, y'all, they, they literally are like a match made in heaven. They all work beautifully together. They blend well together and they last such a long time on my skin at least. And it is upwards of 100 degrees here and very, very high humidity. So if it can last here, it it's going to last anywhere. <laughs> Next up, the best powder highlighter I've ever used, period, point blank, in a discussion. Nothing will ever top it. It has to top it in like the most dramatic possible way. It is the Cali Ray high light highlighter it is the beach gleamy hybrid highlighter in moonlit beach um the package feels like shit it's it literally weighs nothing like there's nothingness to there so okay um i am gonna go in i'm doing i'm tapping it like very lightly tapping it and almost breaking it <laughs> and then i like to actually press it in place first 
And what I love about this is if you are somebody like me that you have, you know, drier skin, more textured skin, larger pores, anything like that, it does not emphasize that at all. And it's this beautiful, you can go very, very impactful, like very gleaming from here to outer space, glazed donut. Or if you kind of press it in gently and kind of work it into the skin, it just gives this beautiful glass-like finish. But then if you really want to amp it up, again, I'm, I'm tapping. If you want to amp it up, you can be Rudolph, okay? Um, it is amazing. It does not emphasize my texture. It blends well with everything else. It's incredibly, incredibly smooth and glass-like, you guys. Like, it's fantastic. It is the best powder highlighter I've ever used. I cannot say enough. <laughs> cannot say enough. Next up, once I finish all of my base products, any powder products or anything like that, I always go in and set first. I always go in and set. This is the Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. If you are looking for a bulletproof setting spray, one that does not have an offensive scent, one that has an incredibly, incredibly fine spray, this is it. It's a lovely product. And you can see it's not matte but it's not overtly shiny either, but I will spray whatever setting spray I'm using, currently this one. And then I take a sponge and lightly tap over everything. And what this does, and this works if you have oily skin or dry skin, but especially for me, having dry skin, I can tend to get a little bit cakey looking. The powders can kind of build up a little bit on my skin. This just takes all that away. It refreshes, brings everything forward, makes everything kind of blend into the skin, become one with the skin, as opposed to sitting on top of the skin like a mask, which I don't think any of us wants that, y'all. <laughs> and then for my eyes, I think I'm just going to do something super, super quick because I've demoed these palettes and stuff like that, and obviously I'm not trying to keep y'all here for three years. But I've been using the heck out of the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Keys Beachy and Peachy palette. And then the Peach Perfect palette from Gourmand Girls, as well as the Nomad, Nomad Cosmetics Canadian Rockies palette. I think for today, because I'm wearing green, I'm just going to the Peach Perfect palette. I have demoed this and I have used it quite a few times. Um, and I'll speed this part up. I think I'm just gonna go into like these two greens, maybe deepen it up, and then I'll probably just pop this on. But I've loved this palette. I think it's incredible. If you guys have been here with me for a while, you know that I love everything green, anything green. I did not even put primer on. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Anyways, um, I love anything green. I love anything warm toned, peachy. This just, it speaks to me on every single level, y'all. Um, incredibly pigmented, blends out well. I like the shade variation here. I like that she opted to go very light, also very dark. So I feel like it's pretty universally, you know, flattering on anybody and anybody can use it. Um, they work well, they blend out well. I do get creasing with this particular shade right here, but otherwise, um, it, incredible, incredible. <laughs> I love this color story. It's just, it's a me palette through and through. All right, let me shut my mouth and speed this part up. eyes with my Polite Society mascara. If you are familiar with the Maybelline Sky Height, this is very reminiscent of that. I did get this in my Ipsy Glam bag. Um, the bristles on it are a little bit more stiff and it's slightly drier than the Maybelline Sky High, but it is one like that, that if you're looking for mostly length and a little bit of lift, then that's the way to go. Next up for lips, I have a few products to show you guys and then we're gonna be, we're gonna be done finally, guys. 
<laughs> um, and I will demo a couple of these for y'all. I do have quite a few lip products, but I'm going to basically show them to you and say why I like them, and then I'll just do a quick lip combo. Um, my two favorite of all time lip liners, the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shaper. This is Puffy Nude. And then the Huda Beauty, the Lip Contour 2.0s. I have like five shades of these. I love these so much. The Huda Beauty, they're incredibly creamy. They glide on beautifully. They're richly pigmented, nice and intense color payoff. And they are pretty much bulletproof. They last a long time. The Too Faced Lip Injection one is basically that exact same premise. This has a little bit more hold, a little bit more staying power, and this one has a plumping effect that I love. If you don't like lip plumpers, this ain't for you. I love it. And I know a lot of people say this. This is quite literally my lips. It is my lip color elevated just slightly. Um, it's beautiful. It does have the clicker up and down. This is actually almost gone as well. Um, you cannot roll it back down once you roll it up. Just noting that for you guys. And I'll just do one side to show you. Like, it literally is, it's a my lips but better type of color. I love it. And what I love about this particular lip liner, which is why I think, these are Thai, but I feel like because of the plumping, this has a little bit more edge to it, but I know not everybody likes it. So I'll keep it as a tie. The reason I like this the most is I can visibly see a difference and feel like it is tingling and plumping and stuff like that. And it's something that the tingle will kind of subside a little bit, but as soon as you kind of manipulate your lips, you put lip product on, you're reapplying a lip product, reapplying lip gloss, something like that, it kind of reactivates it or something like that, and then you feel kind of the burn and the tingle all over again. So it's incredibly, incredibly long wearing. Now, I've been liking a lot of lip products recently, y'all. Um, this one is nothing new, but I'm going to show you guys just how much I've been using it, is the Patrick Ta um the plumping gloss this is in the shade headliner it was the limited edition like holiday one I actually keep this right beside me on the couch on my little coffee table and I, I use it throughout the day I love it and two more that I'm using pretty much all day every day is the brand new gourmand girls lip oil this is the shade black pink I did purchase this myself but this goes on very sheer and then within just a couple of seconds this is beautiful kind of rich berry shade the level of shine here is beautiful. They smell delicious. It smells like fruity, sweet tarts, yumminess. It's it's great. And then this one right here is the Essence. Black is the new pink color changing lip glow. Kind of the same premise here. This one right here is not quite as, I guess, hydrating, if you will. It, it also starts off kind of looking a little bit more sheer and then creates a little bit of a berry shade. For it being a balm, it doesn't hydrate as much as I would probably like for it to whereas with the gourmand girls like you're very clearly getting you know a high shine I will try to show you these there is a little bit more color payoff as well with the gourmand girls one and it is bulletproof like it's lasting you all day it's not going anywhere now a little bit of shine will kind of dissipate as you wear it but yeah it's a lip old but it's also a stain like it lasts forever and I love it I love the texture of it I love how it feels the shine is fantastic another one that I also got in like an ipsy glam bag is the Tarte uh, Maracuja Juicy Lip Stick I do not like the other ones they are too soft for me and I do not like the texture they're weird and mushy this one right here though twist it up just a little bit it does go back down and it has the perfect level in my opinion of shine and opacity but it's very balmy but offers a little bit more intensity a little bit more rich pigment than what maybe most lip balms would and then it offers a great level of shine as well I'll probably demo that one for you guys because you've seen all of these already next up is the NYX butter gloss bling I did also demo this this is another one that for me personally, it feels great. It smells nice. It's nice and thin and the sparkle kind of stays behind. You cannot get the sparkle off very easily though. So if, you've, if you're somebody that you don't like that and you kind of have to really go in and really pay attention to cleansing something using a waterproof cleanser, a cleansing oil, something like that, the glitter particles stay behind. You don't feel them but they stay behind even after you kind of wipe your lips off or after the product has dissipated. This also doesn't last very long. It's a gloss, it's not going to, but it doesn't really have any stick or any grip or hold to it, so it's not going to last as long. The complete opposite spectrum of that is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. This is in the shade Riri. 
<laughs> I had to, y'all. I had to. Um, it is a perfect kind of muted mauve tone. I love this. This does have a little bit of grip, a little bit of tack, and not so much, like I do not like tacky glosses, not so much that you get like the weird gloopy butthole lips and the weird ring around your mouth type of, of, of vibe. You don't get that. So if you like super duper thin, very lightweight, zero tackiness, but you know you're going to have to reapply it, go here. If you want something that's a little bit more long wear, slightly more grip, then you're going to go here. A little bit more opaque as well. And then I feel like the Patrick Ta kind of falls right in between. It's got a little bit of a cooling, plumping sensation to it. And this... I just have, you know, dry skin, but if you have drier skin, lip lines, smoker's lines, something like that, they're going to be gone when you use this. It literally, there's something just beautiful and pretty and pouty about this product. I love it so much, you guys. And then I've also really, really been loving this. I did demo this for y'all as well. This is the House Labs by Lady Gaga, the Hybrid Lip Glaze. This is in the shade Wava. And it, again, is a beautiful nude. This is, for me, a little bit more like the Fenty. There is, again, a little bit of stickiness, a little bit of tack, but not so much that you're going to feel it and it's going to feel uncomfortable on the lips, if you will. Um, but the level of shine and everything's great. They smell really pretty, too. So those are all of the lip products that I took with me and that I have been using recently. I'm going to go ahead and demo the Tarte one for y'all today. And this is, it's still a little bit more matte than I kind of personally like to go. As you can see, I'm very much a fan of balms and oils and stuff like that. But it's not so dry that I feel like it's drying. I don't feel like it's sucking all the moisture out of my lips. It's quite long wearing as well. I think it's stunning. Um, let me top it with something. I'll go over with the Gourmand Girls. And this, y'all, cannot express how good they smell. They smell great. This is probably going to change the color of the other one, but that's fine. But it's just pretty and juicy and yummy and I love it. Um, that is everything. If you guys want a rundown of like household type things, um, you know, perfumes, deodorants, housewares, stuff like that, shoes, clothing, let me know and I can also kind of come around and do that type of a video. But these are things that they are, they're in my little grab and go bag that they've been in there since like three weeks ago um and I've used them every single time that I've done my makeup and I just feel comfortable and I feel confident I feel like everything kind of collectively goes well together sometimes products don't mix and match and they don't go well together and you know sometimes honestly just products don't work with other products and they don't work for every person um if you do not have dry skin maybe these are not going to work for you if you have super oily skin maybe some of these products are not going to work for you um these are just what I am currently loving and I appreciate y'all so much. What do you guys think? Have you tested any of these products? Are any of these your holy grails? Comment down below. Let's have that conversation. Thank you to my beautiful channel members. I love you. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties.